What a fucking game, dude. Oh my lord. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Now I gotta go on editing overload this week and next week. Just to get all the fucking parts edited and just sent out. I got things. I think I got two, two scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I work. I don't have anything to do. So I'll, tomorrow on Friday, I'm just editing, bro. Editing, 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 editing. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions. You fucked up, bro. It will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the undercroft Expelled. without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first, he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. A sallow grave. Complete Sebastian and Sallow's relationship line. So oh, that one's done. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the smidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want to... Puffy's on top, Poppy. Puffy's on top. I did enjoy the three broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the three broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing. And, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Highwing is nice company, but perhaps it's time to add a few more friends to your circle. I am starting to see the appeal of a human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone and share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers. But she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us. Hey, Poppy, what you trying to do, huh? You trying to do pops? E. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me. I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on 
and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, and I don't even want to know the truth behind the rumors that you visited Azkaban. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around <laughs> here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Uh, I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. <laughs> what I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow, suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. Where is he? I do not know. Ravelli, you should look around.
Little Natsioni, innit? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Oh, really, buddy? Come now, you can do that. Right. Oh, oh, Body boy, my God. I'm him. Respect on my name. She dead? There's no way they killed her like that, bro. Come on, Kazo. What are we doing? Yo, they're just killing characters left and right, son. Oh, no, she good. She good. She in a wheelchair. She good. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it. Rebellion. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well, You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh, my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. 
I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. The Avenging Gazelle. Hello. Let's go lift up this house cut for the puffies, baby. What are you up to now? Glitch. The knights are fighting in the background and it's still the sounds coming through. I told you the knights were fighting in the background. <laughs> this year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish. Off his own topic of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey, hey. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. Fuck these Slytherin states. Stay the losing. <laughs> of this year's house cup. Excuse me, headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Big Daddy Pim K. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, oh, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Damn right. Puffy's on top, baby. Puffy's on top, baby. What the fuck? What the fuck? Puppies on top, bitches, let's go! <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. We get the cuts. We got the cuts. Like I said earlier, if y'all enjoy the playthrough, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you back for more single player experiences in these YouTube channels. I hope y'all enjoyed this because I fucking loved it. It was amazing. It was game was perfect. Game was perfect. YouTube, if you enjoyed the playthrough, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be playing multiple single player games throughout this year. We got Resident Evil 4 Remake coming out in March. 
we have Dead Island 2 coming out in April. And we, the game we win for the most is Diablo 4, that is June 6th, which we'll be doing a 24 hour stream when that game comes out. You heard it here first. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Nux. Love y'all. Thank you for the support. Ooh, baby.